Welcome to my channel, I'm Gary Wiryawan and today I'm doing a short video about a long term review of my favorite micro camera in 2023, the Panasonic Lumix GX85. Let's go! So the Panasonic Lumix GX85 is an old camera. This camera has been around since 2016, so it's about 8 years old right now. But even though it's old, it is now currently my favorite micro voltage camera. This camera, however, is not perfect for everyone. It has many flaws and some of its features are a little bit outdated in 2023. However, the functionality of this camera still provides a really good shooting experience and I still think that this camera still provides a great value, especially in 2023. So the whole point of this video is to say that you don't always need the latest and the greatest to have the best shooting experience. You can just use whatever you already have. You don't have to buy a new camera to have a nice photography experience. No, 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 no. That's gear acquisition syndrome. We want to use whatever we have and maximize it as best as we can to get the best results as we can and also to enjoy that process of photography that I always talk about in many of my other videos as well. However, if you are more interested in the latest and the greatest, you want to search for the perfect camera, I made a video about my wish list about the perfect Panasonic Lumix Micro Fortress camera and you can check that video in the card above. Now let's talk about why I chose the Panasonic GX85 as my favorite micro photos camera. And the first reason is because of its size. Some of you guys might already know I use micro photos camera system simply because they are smaller, they are lighter, but the GX85 is smaller in a whole another level. I always want a small Panasonic micro photos camera that has a great in-body stabilizer like this one. I will talk about the in-body stabilizer part a little bit later on this video, but basically I want the camera to also have much better image quality, especially for both photography and video when compared to a smartphone. There are many choices when I'm considering the GX85. We have other Panasonic Lumix micro photos cameras as well and also some from the OM system or Olympus but I ended up with this one because not only this camera is small but there are some other factors that I will explain in this video as well. But yeah, this camera instantly becomes my favorite camera and also my most used camera because it is small enough for me to carry everywhere. So now I can uh, bring it with me everywhere I go and I can start to document, take some pictures, take some videos on places that I've never been able to do before because this camera is comfortably small, it's inconspicuous, so it's not drawing too much attention and that's why I love this camera. Anyway, you can check out my everyday photography vlogs featuring mostly this Panasonic GX85 right here. And on those videos, I'm documenting how I'm uh, doing photography, I'm setting the camera, uh, choosing my compositions, all that kind of stuff. You can check it on the card above right there. Still speaking about the small size of the GX85, this camera instantly becomes my default travel camera, especially when I don't need advanced features such as weather sealing, microphone input, or flip screen from my bigger G85. Yeah, so because the camera is small, it's lightweight, it's easy to travel around, especially when you're traveling by plane, when you have that seven kilogram weight limit, this camera easily fits into your bag and it won't really add too much weight into your carry-on bag. Anyway, you can check out some of my travel vlogs. Some of those videos will feature the GX85 as well. You can watch it on the card. However, size is not everything. If size is everything, then I'd be using the LX100 more often than the GX85. So there are some other reasons why I love the GX85. The next reason besides size is in-body image stabilizer, IBIS. The Panasonic GX85 alongside the Panasonic G85 was one of the first Panasonic cameras to feature a really reliable and serious in-body image stabilizer that we can use for both photo and video, especially when we are using non-stabilized lenses. 
That means I can now do slower shutter speed photography or record smooth video footage without having to rely on tripod or gimbals or any additional tools besides the camera itself. The combination of the in-body stabilizer of the GX85 and the image quality, especially for video, makes the GX85 a really nice camera for recording B-roll footages. Now this segues nicely into the next feature that I love from the GX85 and that is the image quality. Image quality isn't the first thing that comes to mind when it comes to the GX85 simply because it's using the old 16 megapixel sensor from the old GX7. It's not really that impressive to be honest with you. It's not really the best of the best, but for me it is more than good enough. I found that the dynamic range is quite impressive, especially when I'm shooting RAW. I'm shooting RAW 100% of the time, by the way, and you can check out my RAW processing guide up here. You can check out that video. Anyway, the dynamic range is just nice when you're shooting RAW. And then also, I found that the colors are nice. The image are detailed and sharp because the sensor doesn't have any AA filters on it, so you get more detail, you get more sharpness, even though it's only 16 megapixel. The megapixel 16 is not really that bad, especially if you're only doing a uh, digital viewing, you don't really need to print that big, that large, then it's more than good enough for me. More than good enough is the keyword here. We don't always need the perfect, perfect image quality. We don't always need that full frame bokeh. We don't always need that large megapixel. Sometimes good enough is better for you. It makes your workflow becomes faster and more efficient. And that's what I love from the GX85. Noise will always be a problem with micro footage camera and with the GX85, it's no exception. If you shoot under ISO 1600, noise will be kept under control. However, once you start to go above ISO 1600, you will start to see noise on your image significantly. However, I found that if you are using modern denoise tools such as Lightroom AI Denoise or DxO Puro, we can basically ignore noise. The image will be very clean up to ISO whatever, 25,000 or maybe above. I'm not quite sure, but I've done some experiment using these denoise tools. You can watch the video up here and check it out for yourself whether using these denoise tools will help to improve your image or not. Other feature that I love from the Panasonic GX85 is the USB charging feature. That means I don't really have to worry about battery life anymore. I can just bring my phone charger or my power bank and bring a micro USB cable and charge this camera whenever the battery is almost out. Next feature that I love from the GX85 is its value. Let's talk about price. I bought this camera used in 2022 for about 250 or 300 US dollars, not really that pricey, and you get all the benefits that I just mentioned, all the features that I love from the GX85. Plus, I also love this orange tan brown color of this camera. It really stands out from my other black stealthy camera, but it's still inconspicuous in my opinion. Other cameras these days are really expensive and they only focus on just the autofocus or the image quality. This camera is not just about image quality and autofocus, it's also providing you with a lot of enjoyment factor when you're shooting with this camera for both photography and video. And that enjoyment factor, that fun factor is very important for me. And that's also another reason why I love the GX85, the mojo factor. Why, I don't understand why, but I always wanna take this camera wherever I go with me. I always have that attachment to this camera. I always love to bring it out and using it whenever I'm shooting something, I'm doing photography or video. It, it always makes me want to pick up this camera for no apparent reason. And I, I just call it the mojo factor, the fun factor, the enjoyment factor. That's something that's really Hard to describe to you, but I hope you understand what I'm saying right now. So now that I've mentioned all the good things that I love from the Panasonic GX85, I also want to mention some cons when it comes to the GX85, some things that I don't really like. Just to be fair, first let's talk about battery. 
Obviously, battery life with this camera is not really that great. However, as I mentioned before, with the USB charging, battery life is negligible in my opinion. And then there's also the case with the autofocus. Single autofocus with this camera is really great. It's very fast and accurate. But when it comes to continuous autofocus, especially for video, it really suffers a lot. And then also the grip, yeah, I'd like the grip to be a little bit bigger than this and I want the shutter button to be a little bit in the front uh, with the grip together so it's more ergonomic for my hand. Not a big deal though. And then there's also no weather sealing, yeah, I can live without weather sealing anyway. And also it doesn't have flipping screen and mic input, yeah, it's a problem for me especially. I'm making these YouTube videos and I really need those features. Also, the EVF, yeah, not really that great, but yeah, you can still use it in a pinch. I'm not really complaining about it as well. In conclusion, I just want to say that the GX85 is still a great camera, even by today's standard. It's old, yeah, but I'm still enjoying this camera a lot and I will definitely continue to use it in the future. So in conclusion, I just want to say that this is still worth it in 2023 and you don't always need the greatest, you don't always need the latest. Sometimes an old camera like this can provide you with a lot of value and also enjoyment as well. And that's all for today's video. I hope that this video is inspiring, informative, and useful for you. So please comment down below, what is your favorite camera right now? And if you have any question about this video, also uh, comment down below and I will try my best to answer them. Don't forget to support my channel by liking this video, sharing this video, subscribing to my channel. And if you want to support my channel even further, consider using the affiliate links on the description below and use the super thanks button to help me to grow this channel even better in the future. Thank you and see you on the next video. Goodbye.